Our commitment to you here at WUSA 9 is to bring you stories that impact, inform, and inspire. And this next story does all three. Until today, there was no memorial in the District of Columbia honoring firefighters lost in the line of duty. It's called the DC Firefighters Memorial Helmet Project, and under the watchful eye of DC firefighters past and present, it was unveiled today. We wanted to introduce you to the daughter of a fallen firefighter. Today, she was able to see what her father's sacrifice has meant to a grateful city. As you walk the streets of Washington, DC, you might notice something new. Gray helmets hung at light posts across the city. For seven years, we collected old condemned fire helmets. Instead of them being thrown away, we collected them. They're all gray, uh, signifying the loss of life. Since 1856, 102 DC firefighters have died in the line of duty. And now for the first time, their sacrifice will be honored through the installation of memorial helmets at locations throughout the city where they lost their lives. The helmet above is a memorial dedicated to firefighter John T. Williams of Rescue Squad 1, who fell through a roof and died while searching for reportedly trapped victims. Nearly 40 years after his death, his daughter, Angelique Williams Wilkinson, was at the dedication. It's moving. I'm, I'm so overwhelmed with joy and just um, honored that people are still thinking about my dad. A locket holding a picture of her father and a replica of his original badge close to her heart. This is my daddy. My daddy gave his life to help someone else. He sacrificed his life, um, everything that he loved. The nine-year project is a labor of love. Members past and present of the D.C. Fire Department turning out to show their respect. It gives the families and fellow firefighters an opportunity to recognize and remember privately uh, the loss of, of our family members. It gives us comfort in knowing that if we ever are um, in a situation where we pay the ultimate price, that our sacrifice won't be forgotten either. For Angelique, a memorial like this one brings comfort, knowing that others will understand the sacrifice her family made. He was just a human being that gave his life for someone else. And I hope they think about that for all of these firefighters in D.C. and anywhere in the United States that put their lives on the line.